about going from zero to a million. This is a very important topic. And I learned this topic from a book called Ready, Fire, Aim. That's exactly how it's said. Well, the reason I want to add this to this particular segment of the course is because I want you to think about it like this. A lot of times when we're starting off in business, we try to listen to strategies from big time entrepreneurs. And the problem is those entrepreneurs have reached a level now where their strategies have changed simply because they're actually tackling a different set of challenges and problems. So I'll give you a prime example. I had a good friend of mine, he had a delivery app. You know, if you've ever seen stuff like Waiter, Favor, and stuff like that, he had an app just like that. But the difference was it delivered everything from groceries, dry cleaning, liquor, everything. It would deliver anything to your house. Now, talking to him, he was a little bit further along at the time I talked to him. He was already doing over a million a year in revenue. So he was talking about some of the strategies and challenges that he was facing in his, in his business that are a lot different from mine. And the point I made, I, I use this story to illustrate is that what most time happens is when you're trying to think about what strategy you should be using, you're using the wrong strategy based on where you're trying to get. And in this book, Ready, Fire, Aim, what they explain is that the difference between new entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs that have been in the game a long time is they know exactly where to focus. So here's the basic premise. From zero to one million, there's going to be a different focus when you're trying to go from one million to 10 million. So I'm gonna say that again. If you're going from zero dollars to a million dollars, there's gonna be a different focus from when you're trying to go from a million dollars and forward. And then when you get to like a 10 million, trying to go to a hundred million, you have to change. And not essentially does your business have to change, but you yourself have to change. I'll give you a prime example. If you're a solo entrepreneur and you're used to working to yourself, by yourself I mean, but when you get to a $100 million company, you have to work with all these teams and organize all these systems. Well, fundamentally, how you manage your day, how you manage your time, then has to change. Now, you may not have aspirations to get to a billion dollar company or anything like that, but even if you're growing to say 10 million or 20 million in revenue a year, you're gonna have to change depending on what level you're at. But what I want, want to more specifically focus on in this is one key thing that they said in this book, and it's an amazing book, you should pick it up, that I think will be a benefit to you if you're trying to be successful, and especially because you're trying to start a business in the next 30 days. I want you to think about the zero to one million focus. Now, every day in business, there's a lot of tasks that you can be doing. So there's things like marketing, uh, reaching out to get sales with people, there's um, you know building branding material, working with graphic designers, maybe incorporating your company. All these things are activities that you might be doing in order to build a business in 30 days. But once you get something for sale, and I talked about this on another module in the course, once you have something for sale, you need to be spending 80% of your time focused on selling. And I think this was the biggest gem from this book that was like a moment for me. 80% of your time should be spent on revenue generating activities. So what is a revenue generating activity? So when we first got together with a lot of the people um, in this new partnership, which was the Entrepreneur Trap House, um, a lot of our time was spent just figuring out ways to generate revenue for the business. So at the zero to one million phase, you don't need to be focusing heavily on, well, you know, is the product perfect? I'm gonna spend 17 months trying to develop my product and hopefully it'll come together one day. No, don't do that. L listen to me, don't do it. Okay, so the reason I say that is because so many times I've seen entrepreneurs do this to themselves. They're not focused on actually generating sales. A year prime example, we put out a product a while back and it was like Mark Cuban said, he said the best thing you can do is get a product out quickly as possible and then let the market tell you exactly what needs to be fixed. So we put out a product and I remember to get our first conversion it took maybe a week and after we got it we were so excited but immediately that person started running down all the problems with our service. But here's the thing, we're focused on selling. So we took that feedback from them and then we made the product better. Then the next person came in. And they told us, well, you know, this wasn't working. This could be better. You should have this. And then we fixed it again. And every time we brought in new customers, we just kept fixing the problems. But we were focused on selling. And then you can go back and make your branding better. And then you can go back and make your marketing better. And then you can keep making every aspect of your business better. But if you're not selling anything, you don't have a business. I'm going to be very blunt with you. I, don't give, I really don't give a shit what anybody tells you. If you're not selling something, you don't have a business. No, don't skip over that. If you're not selling something, you don't have a business. So the thing is, once we were able to do that, we took that to being a six-figure company. That was the first six-figure company I actually built myself. So the thing is, by us being able to do that, 
That was because we were focused on selling. And then as the product evolved, we went back and improved our customer service, our marketing, and all those aspects because the customers are gonna tell you. You don't know exactly what the customer wants, and we're gonna talk a lot about that in marketing and targeting, but you don't know exactly what the customer wants when you first start. So a lot of it comes down to putting out a product and then taking the feedback from those customers to help you be successful. So that's zero to a million. I want you to focus on that. If you wanna go more in depth than that, I encourage you to read that book, Ready, Fire, Aim. But the big thing I want you to take from this is having the right mindset. If you're coming into this, you're saying, I'm going to start a business in 30 days. You need to be thinking sales first. Generate sales, have a product for sale, and you can be successful really, really quickly. Thank you again for watching and enjoy.